snake. <laughs> Good morning. I was like, I think that's Levi, and then I heard like, step, step, quiet. Yeah. And I was like, maybe he went back down. <laughs> you know how I know you're sneaky? I knew you were using the cannon yesterday. Yeah. And I was like, yes, like I can get my hands on some of this footage. Ha ha ha. So I like popped it open. Or no, I, I went to press play and it said it had no SD card. <gasps> so I looked She's and it like, was missing. She's like, that little snake, he Dang took it. the SD card. He took it with him. <laughs> of course, I got to back it up. <laughs> I was like, ah. This is really funny. She's like, ha ha ha, my evil plan worked. And then she goes in like, oh, and I let's do it. And he used it. <laughs> what are you guys working on over here? We are oiling the end grain, excuse me, yeah, we're oiling. Blueberry demanded us to do the most satisfying part of this. So apparently Snowpocalypse is coming from the Canadians. They've sent like Hell's Thanks, Fury. Levi. Yeah, <laughs> thank your comrades, Levi. Brought it with me. Yeah, right. <laughs> because at any point the weather's gonna change and become miserable, we're adding oil to everything that's done so that we don't have to do it in the rain and snow and stuff. And this timber is unreal when it's oiled. We're doing all the end grain with this like lemon meringue stuff. It, it smells so good. It, it smells, smells good. amazing. <sighs> One common misconception about timber framing is that it is done with dry timbers and that couldn't be further from the truth because dry timbers are really hard to work with. They don't chisel well. They don't saw well. So much <clears> so <throat> that Gabe is not cutting all the scarf joints, yeah. he's cutting and then slicking because yep. just being exposed to air for a couple of hours, he notices it dries out enough that it's harder to slick, the which grain, I didn't know. The end grain dries out just enough on the surface that when you try to run the slick, it's like trying to cut sandpaper. It's that quick. Yeah. So uh, we oil the timbers, <clears throat> not so much for finish or beauty, but to retain the moisture in the timber because you want the timbers to dry really slowly. And we use oil to keep the water in the timber as long as possible so that as it dries, it's less likely to warp and twist and check and do all those things. And the end grain is where the majority of the moisture actually leaves the tree, not through the sides, it's through the ends. And of course, we won't be able to get to the joinery once it's built. So we've got to make sure that the ends are really well oiled. I feel like today's going to be the defining day of the entire week. Yeah. I think it could be. I think we have like this really, we have a really big problem. The weather forecast is kind of like him hawing between like Two death snow. and eh, it could be okay. <laughs> so, so we can't tell. Right. All we know is something's coming and we know that we're just on the edge of it. So we're, we're sort of hoping that our friends across the way in Montana don't get it too bad, but it'd be nice if they kept most of it. <laughs> Um, so they're gonna, I think we're, we're literally wanting to get this frame raisable today, which is unreal. That way we can start assembling bents and doing test fitting and stuff like that. That way if the weather just completely like implodes on us, we've got time to kind of work through because people are gonna slow down, work's gonna slow down, safety is gonna become like the number one problem that we have. We were kind of talking about the difference of a workshop in a very controlled environment and home build workshop. We in Maine had shop talks like five times a day and we're, I don't even know if we had one yesterday. We had, we had one, right? We might be having one a day and the shelter crew's stepping in a lot more so students aren't getting to do like- As much. As much, but I don't, I think people are here for a very different reason. It's not to have a very controlled workshop experience. We're very much reacting to the weather and the weather plays a huge part in building a house. So for people that want a realistic home building experience, this, this is it. This is what you worry is. about the crane coming on time, potentially getting the crane early, moving ahead of schedule, using more power tools. Working into the night. Um, working as a team. Yeah. And yesterday we had a few people at dinner offer to stay beyond the workshop to help us if with any it. last minute tasks if we need it. Um, yeah. Like Shelter said, we, we might be responsible for tapping the pegs into the hole, which is easy. You know, things like that. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see how this all plays out. Yeah, a lot of people, when they kind of take a journey like this, they want some, some, some continuity there. And this has been everything but. Everyone's commented on the schedule. They're like, so according to the schedule, we're supposed to be laying out joinery right now. And we're <laughs> practically done with joinery. And that's kind of been the, the mood of this entire workshop. Right. Is go, like, go, go, go. Go! When's the last time you guys have gone on like a proper date? 
long enough Does, that my short-term memory doesn't yeah. remember. I was gonna say we go to dinner a lot, but I don't I hardly call that a date because. Oh, I know. I actually know. It wasn't really a date, but it was like sort of. So back in July, it was like the day after we got our new truck that we refused to do a video about. We went to British Columbia for a hot springs day, yeah. but it wasn't really a date. It was like really rushed. So it's been probably over a year. We actually calculated we've had a cumulative, it's important, cumulative two days off in the last six months. So if you want to know what home building's like. So right now, oil and timbers in the morning is about as good as the date gets. <laughs> hey, look at this. It's yeah. pretty good. We really enjoy this and we feel very fortunate to spend so much time together. We know that most couples would choke each other after about three days, but. Yeah, I thought, I thought that was really fascinating. Like a lot of questions that I hear people asking you, particularly the husbands that are here to you, Jesse, is like, man, like, like did you have to trick Alyssa like yeah how did you how did you get Alyssa to become on board and actually a willing participant in all this yeah no. I'd and then how do you not argue constantly <laughs> it's been a very yeah I would say probably I mean there's been some sawmill questions some house questions but maybe one of the most popular questions is relationship driven like how do you get your spouse together how do you work on this stuff what's been the problems do you guys actually argue do you edit that out of camera you know is that like a real thing like do you guys actually choke each other once in a while or are you guys really just this good, you know? <laughs> Relationship advice with Jesse and Alyssa, to be continued. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard Blueberry saying she got this oil, like is this oil stuff from them? Yeah, yes. they've... She was saying they got like a source of like a couple that makes it organically or something or other? It's this pretty... is vegan, paleo, organic, um, what else? <laughs> this is like... Fair trade. Is it gluten free? Gluten -free. Are you sure it's gluten free? What's very rare about the shelter is their level of experience with this stuff. They're not just timber framers, but they're tool connoisseurs. They're Finnish people. They've tried, like they've ordered everything in the catalog and tried them all. And they have found what works. That's one of the reasons that shelter is so successful. And it's one of the reasons they kind of keep that as proprietary information a little bit is because it's, it is part of their 35 or 40 years doing this, 45 years doing this, is what they use, which most people don't have that knowledge. Case in point, <sighs> yeah. did you see that Kimberly and Brian broke their mallets? Oh yeah, Aaron Both broke his Both of them too. snapped the handle off their mallet, like Aaron, on day one. Yeah, they, so they bought their mallets off Amazon. And then what happened was, I think, I think Brian let Aaron borrow his mallet. Uh -oh. And so Kimber, or I think Brian broke one and then Aaron like two seconds later is like BAM and like broke the head off the other one so yeah they broke two mallets yesterday side by side apparently they weren't even hitting them hard so there's that but yeah shelter has learned the tooling that it takes to do this work and do it well and it's not they've they've what's nice is that it's not all expensive they've found a cheap tool that does the job and an expensive tool that does the job that way when people buy their tool kits it's an investment it's like 600 bucks but they get a set of tools that you could use to build this, you know. And our or, tools are still in great condition. Yeah, dig them right out of the bag and sharpen them a little bit and away you go. Boy, now that Levi's gone, we can do whatever we want. Wow. <laughs> but we can also use the Raptors per foot of run. That is 16 space 97 triangles. It's about that So if you don't have a calculator on, you can use the framing we will then also use the framing square to recreate the unit triangle on the rafter. So we're, we're sort of doing a stepping off procedure where you could take the frame and line the rafter. Since we can use multiplication, we don't need them. That's equal to 16.97 inches per foot. Why do we say per foot? Multiply that times the run of the do this calculation. Does everyone have a calculator? Mine to the other side. Leave the staircase. Total amount here might vary based on. Go with that. Big piece of wood. I would suggest doing the feet first. Yep. What are you guys figuring out? <laughs> the layout for the uh, rafter. For it to attach to the ridge beam. I'm going to go. Right. There we go. 
and you don't want to cut a, a beam this long twice. Real five and seven <laughs> yeah. Right. Now I'm going to go right to zero. That would be really sad. Just so you can double check. So you're, you're laying up that notch right there, yeah? yeah? Yes. Yeah, so this this is going to be the line where it meets up with the other side rafter, and this is where it sits on the beam, the, the ridge beam. Let's just stop it right here. Right. Big moment! Oh my gosh! Oh yeah. As long as I don't throw my back out. Yeah, during that big moment. Just <laughs> live stream the erection for me. I'll be good. Live stream the erection. <laughs> 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 the one week where you can use that word as often as you want. Right. Uh, so last week I had a big long five days. Five days. I'm gonna go see a doctor. <laughs> Did you call a doctor? Nope. I was thinking if we could do a Monty Python later, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Someone with coconuts could ride up and try to challenge the castle. What are your parents doing over there? They're turd polishing. <laughs> so we, we actually decided, we had like a 30 second heart to heart that we're not wintering in that structure. We refuse to fix the rip in it. It's gonna start raining. So pretty much the push is on to get the RV in there and we'll do what we have to do. Jesse mentioned an outhouse and showering elsewhere. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure somehow the, the RV is going in there very soon. So for now, I asked my dad if he could just tarp that for us. Bad thing about a tarp is with storms usually comes wind, so there's a good chance. Let's just say we hope it doesn't get windy. I really think some people in the area have avoided stopping to say hello to the new neighbors because only a crazy person would live in there. <laughs> Tell me there's not a little truth to that. <laughs> there's a little bit, there's definitely a little bit of truth to that. Who Big years? frame's gonna pop up and be like, what? Like that, that, like that doesn't make any sense. It's cheaper than uh, painting your house a new color, eh? Yeah, that's right. And then when that splits, we'll put another one on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the, the sorry, this is the top. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Cool. It's working out so far. I'm just happy with this nice and dry today. People will be so upset at me if I don't get a toolbox to her. Well, I gotta, let me clean it up first at some point. <laughs> you don't get it. No, it's gotta be real life. No, I the gotta, real deal. I gotta clean it up. So you just bought this on Amazon, eh? Can we put an Amazon link in the description? Or? Yeah, the affiliate link will be, will be down in the description. Check the description. <laughs> yeah, so I took the class the other week and gathered some tools. So I threw together some organization and tool storage. And I didn't want all my tools rattling around and banging together. So I kind of built a toolbox to keep everything separated. It has several layers of functionality. Um, for instance, this chisel tray lifts out. I can take it with me. And then I've got um, my mallet, block plane, and sharpening guide that'll lift out. And it gives me another layer of tool storage down here where right now I've just got pencils and another saw and a leather strap. Sometimes I'll throw my headlamp down there, whatever the case may be. What, what kind of material is this made out of? This is made out of 3 8 inch Baltic birch. It's just kind of a high quality plywood. Right. And then the rest of this, all this darker wood here is all cherry. It's just some stuff I had laying around. I just cut a slot in both sides and then the lid slides on and it's good to go. It might be the the toolbox that's catching the most looks here this week so far. It hasn't been stolen quite yet, so that's good, but um, <laughs> we'll see. The week's not quite over. Slow down. Careful, guys. Hold up, hold up. Careful. 
Yeah. Pick up the back. Can we go up higher? Pick up the back. Right there. Whoa! Flat surface, so it'll sit right yeah. here. Because you've created this, this to be, here. Mm -hmm. this to be square. Got it. Um, so that it sits so that on the. That's because that's where what you'll see. That'll go up against. Okay. And you want. Mm -hmm. work. I have all these tools and no work. Is I'm unemployed. It, I think I'll just go beg. Is it just me or is it getting darker out? It is getting darker. We're losing light. And I see, I see precipitation. It's not smoke and it's not fog, so it's precip. Oh, I think I just felt one on my ear. I think it's snow. I think it's snow. Or raining. Oh, I see another one. Here it comes. Do you was, see that? Yeah. It's just, coming. Uh -oh. <gasps> Be ready. I keep getting my phone out to check the forecast yeah. to see if it's changed, and I keep getting distracted. Like, go <laughs> Facebook, go text message. Uh, oh, the rain is coming, and those are a lot of snowflakes. When Pat was telling people it was going to snow two feet, I'm like, no, Pat, like it might snow an inch. We'll see. I don't. I think we're fine. Boy, look at the fog come in. Yep. Big old rain cloud coming right out. That's no, not fog, that's rain. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the fog. Well, look, fog. Look the lovely fog over there. Fog is just the clouds. Actually, wait a second. Lower. Look at that lovely mustache over there. Yeah. How long did it take you to grow that, Braden? Uh, I've been working on it. Uh, boy, I quit my job two weeks ago. <laughs> Isn't it? Is it November? <laughs> It's no shave November. No, no shave November. It is November. currently it is you November. Yep. My wife graduates in about two weeks, so I'm probably gonna have to shave in the middle of November. Oh yeah. Rain jacket time. Yep. We want, we want to, to do those Dave, why is your coat on? Uh, I want to be very reflective. I don't want to be backed over by any trucks. Want to glide cam shot? Since, in, since, yeah, let's get some, let's get some sweet let's get some nice shots here. This is how we're gonna do it. Okay. Let's get a nice shot of this here timber. Oh, look at that! It's like a dolly. Okay, can we back up and do it again? Okay, cut. Okay, and action. Oh, jeez. That was a great shot, Jeff. Thank yeah. you. Anytime. This shot was brought to you by this wheelbarrow. You can have a different one. Blueberry. Oh wait, you've been wearing your coat all day, haven't you? I have. Okay, so I can't I can't ask why you just put your coat on because you it's did. It's raining, that's why. It's raining. It's gonna snow soon too. Gabe wasn't willing to admit it. He no. said he was just trying to be reflective. <laughs> he never admits bad things. Oh now now Pat's putting on his. They are those. <laughs> <laughs> Gaius! Why is your coat on? It's starting to sprinkle a little and it's very dark. I wanna make sure people can see me. Hey, that drill seems to be working a little better. Yeah, that other drill was just dying slowly. What's going on? Band-aid? No. I heard band-aid. Band-aid, band-aid! Mike, what'd you do? I got a little cut. I put my blood, sweat, I didn't, I didn't cry yet. Shot of that. And I got that on a slick. It just came, I just touched it. Just Dust, barely grazed it. Just grazed it, and it just took that top layer of skin right off. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same way. It was just like, ugh. <laughs> Don't 
turn around, see me filming, you're like, oh shoot, yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I have evidence you were working hard. That's no fine. worries. No one's gonna judge. You'll you have just to have evidence. to edit this part out. Yeah, we'll edit yeah. this part out for yeah. sure. Make sure I'm working. Alyssa, enough. remember to edit this part out. When you can see the rain on video, you know it's raining. Can you really? Yeah. Well, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I'm so used to it. Oh, No fingers stuck? Nope. All right, only 17 to go. Woo! Tools and rain. No. What's really no, no, stupid no. is that no, no. this roof is not waterproof. It's a floor, not a roof. Swing over. Go to your left. Right. <laughs> Aaron, you're doing great. Nothing like making them slippery before I think it's your turn to swap out, eh? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get a clipboard, too. I need one more on the side. Follow the leader. Jump! <laughs> Lunch? Food ladies here. Yeah. Probably because you put that jacket on, Gaius. <laughs> Bob, did you see what I did with your umbrella? You got, you got a supervisor. <laughs> Found an umbrella holder. That's awesome. Every Where? job is important. <laughs> <laughs> Coming. Thank you very much, sir. Right. Hey, you're all good. Yeah. All good. <laughs> Looks like you're staying relatively dry over here, ish. It, yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna get a chance to get my rain clothes on before I started this. What's happening, Pat? You. Tooth. Tooth? I asked him what's happening, but I have no idea what he said. He said like tooth or something. Like, oh, oh, oh. Truth? Are we doing a 180 again? We will have to because the tin is Okay. So we'll aim for the front. Right. You guys can get We're going this way. From the back. Good man. We are laying out the pose for the ridge bend. That's the one we want on the bottom of the stack. This is the last one that we'll put up onto the building. So we build the bent in reverse order. And so there's going to be a stack of them here. Yep. It's going to be five bents high by the time we're done. The snow is going to help elevate us to the top of the stack. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully by the end of the week we'll be able to just like lift up the last ones just by carrying them up there, right? Just walk up a ramp of snow. That's right. I think you had it right.
Careful. You want that end over here, Brady. Hey, you, gotta, you gotta spin around. Okay. You gotta one, spin around again. 360. 360 bonus points. We'll do this until whoever's full of the whiskey fesses up. We can do this all day. Beating will continue till morale improves. The beatings will continue. And lift. No. So then yes, you attach the low part first and then the second there. Rotate. Okay. So this is going to be a... You may see the northern hemisphere where beams always turn to the left. <laughs> from the southern hemisphere, everything would go the other way. Is that the right post? Yeah, it's for the, it's for the scarf. scarf. Aha! Aha! The engineers <laughs> did know what they were doing. We need to move this about four feet forward and that one about two feet forward. So they are all aligned. Do we align the beam? Do we move the post to the beam or the beam to the post? I think you want to get the rocks over here and get the beam, beam. together. And Moss the blocks, area. kids! Are these? These look like blocks. Which way are we rolling? <laughs> There's a lot of disagreement. Alright! Yeah. Thanks for the umbrella, Bob. You're welcome. I'm glad I had it for you. Look how it doesn't rain. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. It's gonna look good. You do this in the shop. Well, how's the workshop been going? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you decide it was something you wanted to do? Just to see if it's possible. Right. Yeah. Just to see if it could really be done. And to see if it's something I could do or not. Right. <laughs> have you been following Jesse and Alyssa for a while? I, yeah, I have. Right. So, just curious to see how their, their progress and stuff and everything is going. So. Yeah, it's going to be something else when the frame is finally up there on that. Yeah. <laughs> All the... Well, years now. Yeah. It's been years in the making. You know, that's the stuff I <laughs> no, need to no, hear. I, I can't, I what were you talk. wondering yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Is this really going to get done or not? No, it looks like it will. I think it will. Because, I mean, you spend so much time just like... Yeah, you're like a whole day just on that, you know? Like, I think we're way behind. But what do I know? I don't do this for a living. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious what the process will be like of it getting this stuff up there. Like, yeah. I'm... Yeah. I'm very encouraged by, like, each beam seems to have what needs to be done on it done. Right, yeah. Which is really yeah, cool. Yeah, because all this stuff is now cut, which, you know, like, oh my gosh, look at all those beams that need cut, now they're all cut. Some refining to do, but. Yeah, it's amazing. So, how's lunch? Wait, what burger did you cook? Oh, you got a burger there? I can't even see. You got beef. Mm. Both went with beef, eh? Mm -hmm. Except mine's fancier. Oh, you're, you did a better job dressing it up, eh? Yep. Well, you haven't even taken a bite yet. So. Nope. Vegetables on a burger. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody got chicken? Everyone's just beef over here. What's going chicken. on? You got chicken? Yep. Nice. It's got to be a burger, man. Burger. It's chicken burger or beef burger? It's beef. We're out west, aren't we? <laughs> and apparently we like our burgers the exact same exactly. way. <laughs> it was a beef burger. It was a beef burger. You and I are going to be the odd ones out, man. We'll have, like, tons of leftovers. <laughs> Bob, are you going chicken or beef? Really? Uh, beef. Beef. Did you do something to your hair today? I did. Or did you? I put my new steaming gel on. You look it's good. <laughs> Ridiculous. How much water's in my hat? <laughs> Enough, I would say. I'm mad! Yes. Good. Literally every time you hit it, it moves. Thank <laughs> you.